this week we're talking about spring jackets. You might think I'm being a bit optimistic with the spring part of spring jackets because it's not really spring yet, but I find by this time of year I'm so sick of my coat that any opportunity to ditch the coat and go out with a jacket and a scarf, I'm all over it. So if you're anything like me, probably a bit impatient to move on from winter coats to spring jackets, so let's just do it. Um, there are lots and lots of good spring jackets around this season and best of all, a lot of them have a kind of soft silhouette which means you can wear them as part of your outfit and if necessary, layer a trench over the top, which for the English spring is often a good combination for our climate. Um, so this one that I'm wearing today, this is Topshop, and I'm wearing this with, um, with dungarees in fact, um, which kind of works I think because it looks a little bit like you're wearing a three-piece suit. I don't know, anyway, we thought we'd try it out. Uh, it's spring, you know, spring forward, but we've got quite a few more to show you on the rail here. Here's a beautiful jacket. This is Helmut. Very classic. It's not the kind of shrunken size. It's not mannishly oversized. It's just a really nice jacket that's going to fit you really beautifully. Um, £375, but it is, I think, worth every penny. Another style of jacket that could be worth investing in this season, I think, is the tuxedo jacket, a kind of casual version of, because it's a big look for daytime this season, but it's also useful to have a jacket that you can wear in the evening, and a tuxedo jacket over a dress is a classic. This one's by Philip Lim. It's got a kind of cutaway back. Japanese style florals have been a bit of a high street trend for a few months now and this jacket here from Topshop, very simple shape, it has this lovely design and just very subtle quilting around the lapel. I think it's a real high street find. Well, this leather jacket, um, this is one of those ones where you really need to have sort of new sort of touch screen technology because it's just such lovely leather. It's incredibly thin and soft. I mean, this idea that you could wear a trench over it, you could absolutely do with this because it is as kind of slender as a cardigan to wear. It's absolutely beautiful. And moving on, but staying with almost exactly the same silhouette, interestingly, um, from Whistles, is this version of a bomber jacket, but in fabric. So it's kind of a cardigan bomber, which sounds like a strange combination, but actually works. If you're not feeling my jacket with a trench over the top combination, don't worry. Um, we've got a few jackets here as well, which are just a spring jacket all in themselves. Kind of moving away from your jacket, which was probably black over winter, now you have this one, which is just quite sort of bumptious and energetic and forward looking, I think, from Paul and Joe. I love these uh, shiny buttons here and the little silver thread that runs through it. Or if you want to channel a bit of Parisian left bank chic instead. This is Isabel Marron and this is her Etoile cheaper label, which is always the perfect way to do that look. And then lastly, flowers and rain. What could be more spring-like than this? 